Back in Tulsa, Northwest Arkansas, and the Drillers locked up no score in the On Deck Minor League Baseball game of the week. Dick Gabriel, Doug Flynn, and you've heard us talk throughout the year about On Deck. That's our, uh, our our sponsor this year, our title sponsor. And here to tell us more about it is James Hobson, who's the Chief Operating Officer officer of uh, on deck thank you so much for joining us thank you for your support tell everybody what on deck is well thank you for having me and uh you know on deck is a uh, company where we are here to uh, help small businesses get the capital they need to grow um, so we're very excited about our sponsorship of minor league baseball when i learned about on deck my initial response was small businesses community minor league baseball part of some small communities, some big ones like Tulsa, uh, but you know Northwest Arkansas, you know, just a perfect fit. Absolutely, we um, you know we believe small businesses are the cornerstone of America. Um, you know they create jobs, they serve their local communities. Um, so this sponsorship was really a perfect fit for us. Um, you know here in Tulsa and then in uh, 20 other uh, local communities, we're sponsoring the teams. Uh, so we couldn't be uh, more pleased with the sponsorship. Okay, we're not talking peanuts either. What, over $2 billion, did I hear? Yeah, that's right. So uh, we've lent uh, over $2 billion to over 700 different kinds of small wow. businesses across the country. Wow. And you gave out an award tonight, which I thought was pretty special. Yeah, it was great. So we um, recognized uh, George's Pub uh, here in Tulsa. Um, and, um, you know, Corey uh, is a, you know, a great small business owner. Um, he's been in the restaurant business for a long time and five years ago went out on his own. Um, so it was great for us to be able to recognize him and, and the impact he's having on his community. There you get a good look at Corey before the game. Corey Crandall of George's Pub that's in Jenks, Oklahoma, with the greatest, I think, award ever. Voted best place to take your dad for a beer by the Tulsa world. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I, I think it's fantastic. Uh, I'm looking forward someday for my son taking me for a beer. He's, there you go. He's only five, so, you know, we got a ways to go. But. <laughs> now, he threw out the first pitch, did a pretty good job. Yep. Yeah, he uh, he was a little worried. He said he's a soccer player, but uh, he nailed it. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I tell you what, my partner's going to be thrown out a first pitch uh, in a few days, and he ought to be being a former Gold Glove <laughs> yeah. infielder. But uh, that's got to be a nerve-wracking period. But h how did the idea for On Deck come about? So really, um, the, the notion of On Deck was that uh, small businesses needed a better solution for capital. And, and really, uh, On Deck came from when, you know, a bank might not be able to serve your needs, we're On Deck. Um, and uh, so we started the company about eight years ago, as you mentioned, uh, $2 billion, over 30,000 small businesses we've been able to help. So it's been a great journey. So tell me about your, your little baseball background. Are you a baseball fan? I, I am a fan, and this is a... a Please don't say Cardinals, okay, because <laughs> my partner here loves the Cardinals. That's right. Well, I, you know, <laughs> sometimes you get lucky. I grew up in L.A., and, and while I live on wow. the East Coast now, I'm, I'm still a diehard Dodger fan, so uh -huh. it's, uh, it's great to be here <laughs> oh, with their affiliate. Oh, man. <laughs> You're nice having both you, sides. James. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, man. you know, it, it's changed a lot. Of course, growing up in the Cincinnati Reds organization, there was only East and West, and so... We knew that uh, we had to beat the Dodgers to even go to the playoffs. So Tommy Lasorda probably left in that there was going to be a rival. And to this day, will remind me of that. <laughs> sure. Why did you decide to come up with an award for the small business, like the one Corey won? Well, you know, we think that, um, you know, Corey and George's Pub is really typical of small businesses across the country. And, you know, we just, uh, we believe in being an active participant in our customer success. And so, you know, we found this partnership. We wanted to do more than just slap our logo on some stadiums. Um, and so it's really being about getting out and, and in the communities and recognizing um, businesses that are growing. Corey's been growing his businesses. He serves over 1,700 customers on a weekly basis. And, wow. and we think that's fantastic. Hunter Dozier with a hard shot to third. And two outs. I think that when you come and you've been a part of minor league baseball now, to me, I haven't spent three years in the minor leagues playing before I got to the big leagues, but it's still the purest form of baseball that you can see. Uh, you've got kids that are still hungry. They're not making the really big money. They're out here playing for each other. Your relationships that you make in minor league baseball are those that will continue even through business when you get through playing the game. Yeah, I think that's great, and we're, we're really happy to be part of it. You are a young father, and uh, you talked about perhaps someday taking uh, your, your own son, your son taking you out, but uh, have you had a chance to come to many of the minor league ball games? You know, so this is uh, uh, the first one that I've been able to, I've taken my kids to a couple games in New Jersey. Um, Trenton Thunder, another uh, team that we support, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting out yeah. there. Um, but it's just fantastic, and, you know, even walking around, lots of families bringing their kids, it's, it's great. We have a few more questions for you, if you'll stay put. Three up, three down, nothing across. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score in Tulsa back in a minute on the On Deck Minor League Baseball Game of the Week. 
This is the feeling of turning a game you love into a lifetime of cash. DraftKings.com, the daily fantasy golf destination, is giving away 2.5 million bucks in golf's next major and winning simple. Just pick your sport, pick your players, and pick up your cash. Play with promo code RANGE this week and get free entry in golf's next major June 18th. Winner gets 1 million bucks. Get to DraftKings.com now. Ooh, check out the edge of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. It displays colors when your top five contacts call. The edge of the iPhone 6 displays nothing, but it has a vibrate function. The GS6 Edge also displays text, news, sports, stocks, weather, Twitter, email. It's a lot. While the edge of this guy has some buttons. When you do the math, it's clear. Six is greater than six. The Galaxy S6 Edge. Not all smartphones are created equal. Yes, indeed, it is the Fat Guys Challenge here at <laughs> One Oak Field. <laughs> How did I not get invited to that? Oh, you're pretty svelte right now, I think. I think we'll all agree. Welcome back, Dick Gabriel, Doug Flynn, James Hobson, who's the Chief Operating Officer of On Deck, our title sponsor with a minor league baseball game of the week. And we're talking a lot about uh, the way your company uh, lends to small businesses. And some of your stats are just staggering when you talk about the jobs that these loans make possible what are some of the numbers there yeah well you know it's getting capital to help businesses grow is really important and you know small businesses have a harder time than normal so you know we looked at the first billion dollars we've been able to lend across the country um, and that created over 22,000 jobs That's it would not have been first there. billion that was just the first billion so that was <laughs> what we studied but um, you know those jobs wouldn't have been able to be um, uh, created if, if these businesses didn't have capital. So, you know, we're uh, really uh, proud to, to play a part in helping our small business customers. And those 22,000 jobs led to what kind of uh, economic impact? Well, when you look at that, they created over $3.4 billion in economic <laughs> impact. Wow. So, you know, really wow. impacting the community. And, uh, you know, George's Pub is a perfect example. Started yeah. five years ago. Um, you know, Corey's been growing that business 40% a year. Um, he now wow. has 13 employees. Um, so we think, you know, he is the perfect example of the type of business we hope to help. And as I understand it, he needed a loan for an air conditioner. Now, that's a good-sized air conditioner, but and that sounds like a small thing, but it's not. No, it's not. And, you know, these things are critical to business. And so I was uh, lucky enough to have uh, lunch at George's Pub today. Uh, it was great. And, uh, you know, we talked about it, and it was just an abnormally hot summer. And, you know, if he couldn't get that and get it quickly, um, that's and really folks, important. we're talking about an Oklahoma summer, right? <laughs> that's right. I hear I hear it can be I, today is hot, but I hear it can be worse. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, we think the process is important. So, you know, he was able to get that loan in a matter of days. Um, and, you know, being able to, to, to sort of respect the fact that small business owners only have a certain amount of time and being able to get them a quick decision and to get that quick capital quickly is very important. Yep. Lars Anderson leading things off here. No score, bottom in a second. Yeah, speaking of the process, is that pretty normal when uh, getting it done that fast? No, you know, if you're going to look at a traditional process from a more traditional lender, it's going to take uh, weeks. Um, you know, there was a study that just came out that said 33 hours a time of a small business owner. Um, and we just think that, that, that that's much too long. So, you know, we aim to be able to only do it in a, in a few minutes or, or a couple hours at the small business owner's time. Luke Farrell only needed 11 pitches to retire the side in inning number one. So off to a good start for the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Learning more about small business loans from on decks, James Hobson. Just out of the reach of Evans and Juan Mayor. Were you a baseball nut growing up? You talked about being a Dodger fan. <laughs> I was a I was a baseball fan. Um, uh, yeah, played other sports, uh, tennis a lot, and basketball. Um, wasn't very good once I encountered a curveball in little league, so uh, <laughs> I became a fan more than a participant of that. I noticed he looked right at me that. when he said that. <laughs> can we relate? <laughs> yes, we can. That, that curveball and slider got me into slow pitch softball eventually. <laughs> And, you know, it seems like we're talking a lot about what you guys have already accomplished, and it seems like the potential for growth with your company is pretty amazing. 
Yeah, you know, we, um, we're we continuing to grow. We're, we're continuing to try to make sure that we can um, make small businesses know that, that there's an alternative out there. So, you know, for all small businesses, not just here in the Tulsa market, but across the country, I would encourage you to go to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com um, on Deck Capital, and apply for these awards because we're, we're doing these awards um, across the country, um, as I said, in over 20 other uh, markets. And, um, you know, we're there to help small businesses. I was going to say, Corey's not the only one who's won an award, right? You've given out more than 20? Uh, yep, and we're going to continue to give them out throughout the season. And then at the end of the year, we will have a small business uh, winner of the year um, that we're going to recognize. So it's been, a, it's been a fun time for us. Hector Oliveira, but a tremendous stop by Dozier, taking a hit away from this prospect. So we get a chance to see him for one pitch. Take another look at this, Doug. He absolutely, this is what we saw in batting practice today. Yeah, the ball's got a different sound. You can see a good jump, kind of oh. fighting the sun a little bit, too, because he is, when he plays back on the infield, you can see the where the shade kind of cuts off a little bit, but his head is in the sun. He had a hard time picking that ball up, makes a good play. So now Sean Zaraga, 236 average. He's driven in five runs so far this year. Good look right there at the field. You can see where the shadows come in and Luke Farrell cruising along right now. You mentioned Trenton, so what is home for you? Um, so I live in uh, Little Silver, New Jersey. It's about an hour south of New York City. Um, we've been there uh, for eight years. It's a fantastic community. Well, here's the way baseball binds people. My mom was from Trenton and never let me forget that the Trenton Giants, who were a Class C team back in the day when she grew up, featured a center fielder named Willie Mays. <laughs> so it just scans yeah, generations, yeah. That, doesn't that it? That was a good one. Yeah. Are you near Rutgers by any chance? Is that anywhere? Uh, yeah, we're pretty close. Pretty uh, close. That's yep. uh, and. As fate would have it, my lovely wife of 33 years, a Rutgers grad. There you go. So do you travel a lot? Do you go in and, and try to check out as many of these uh, small businesses as you can? You know, we travel a lot. Today I had the opportunity to visit uh, three of our customers here uh, in the Tulsa area, so that was fantastic. And, you know, just hearing about, you know, how we can continue to do more for them. Um, so it's great always to get in front of your customers. How many states? So we lend in all 50 states. Uh, wow. As I said, we've lent to over 700 different kinds of small businesses. Um, so, you know, each business can be similar, but they're all unique. And, um, you know, we're here to help them all. Well, Ed, I tell you, it's, it's an honor to be able to have you guys doing this for minor league baseball because it's, it's a fun way to bring the family, enjoy yourself at the ballpark, see some great baseball, and at the same time do things with the family. So I... We're, we're really proud to be a part of this. Thank you. Well, thank you guys very much. We appreciate it. Adam Squeeze, route number three. Great to meet you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. James Hobson of On Deck. And that'll do it for inning number two. Back in a minute with the On Deck Minor League Baseball Game of the Week.